Today we get to learn about Fireman's Park neighborhood here on the west side of Green Bay. They like the location, they love the community, the neighbors, um, so we're a nice tight-knit neighborhood. Hello everybody, welcome back to Living in Green Bay. Today we get to learn about Fireman's Park neighborhood here on the west side of Green Bay. I have one of my friends, Michael Parada, here to tell you more about it. And before you learn about the neighborhood, we'll get to hear a little bit about his story, how he ended up in the Fireman Park neighborhood. He is the chair of the GBN, Green Bay Neighborhoods. Why don't you tell everybody a little bit about how you ended up in the neighborhood? Sure. I grew up in the Green Bay area. I decided I wanted to settle down in Green Bay about 10 years ago now already, and uh, found a property at the opportunity uh, in Fireman's Park. Um, love the location, love the people in the community, so uh, it was an easy choice and uh, have loved it ever since. This location is on the west side of Green Bay, kind of, would you say like central west side of Green Bay? It's pretty central west side Green Bay, closer to farther west. But yep. It's in the middle of everything so we're kind of within walking distance or a couple minutes drive from most of the different pieces in the west side, Military Avenue area, we have Lambeau Field to the south, um, along Mason Street right here so we have a great location. Um, we don't have a lot of traffic going through the neighborhood because yeah. we're kind of settled in the middle here around some of the major roads and so um, when you're driving through or getting around um, you really are coming to the neighborhood for sure to do that and so but it's a nice uh, quiet neighborhood because of that and uh, we're able to get to a lot of the places on the west side really easily. So. Yeah the neighborhood sort of seems defined or kind of outlined by main roads but not any that pass directly through it. Correct yeah we have Mason Street to the north we have military uh, to the east uh, we have 9th Street to the south and then we have Taylor Street and about the highway to the west. So if you're in here, you kind of are insulated a little bit yes. from that, but you can get to everything really, exactly. really well. So what other things should people know if they're thinking and, and wanting to learn more about the neighborhood? What kind of businesses are in this area? What kind of features does the neighborhood have? Who lives here? Sure. <laughs> A little bit of everything. Yeah. No, uh, we have Military Avenue, um, our business district, uh, just to the east of us, uh, which is really close by, um, very convenient to get to. So um, that has a lot of our bulk of our smaller businesses and area businesses here uh, in the neighborhood area. Um, obviously, in the neighborhood, we have a mix of a variety of different individuals who live here. Uh, we have people who are uh, living in uh, residential houses. We have a lot of apartments as well. Um, we have had people who lived here their entire life. We have had some people move in in the past few years um, to raise their family and have their kids. And so uh, it's great a mix of different people in the community. Um, people who live here though and, and who find an opportunity to live here um, really do love it. And uh, I hear a lot of great things that they want to stay here. Um, they like the location, they love the community, the neighbors. Um, so we're a nice tight-knit neighborhood here on okay. the west side. Um, we have the fireman, we're in Fireman's Park right now. Uh, which is kind of where we're <laughs> surrounded. We have our uh, we have one section kind of a lower area of the neighborhood and an upper area up here by the park. Um, but it's the park is in the middle and it's a great location. You most people probably know us from the sledding hill yes. on, on Fireman's yes. Park. So when you're driving down Mason Street and you see everybody sledding all winter long, and we hear everybody sledding all winter long in the streams, unfortunately, <laughs> uh, you know it's not too loud. Not it's fun, but uh, we we like the location for that, and we like to welcome a lot of people here in the winter time. But all year round, uh, the park is beautiful, nice quiet area. People enjoy. Um, we have Kennedy Elementary School in terms of schools um, on the lower part of the neighborhood. Um, so we have a lot of people coming in. So many of the kids from the neighborhood go to Kennedy. Other people from the surrounding areas as well, obviously. Um, so we have schools, we have parks, um, we have a lot of the different housing areas here. So it's a great mix of everybody here on the west side. Yeah, this is probably one of the most like blended as far as different yeah. things, uh, neighborhoods you could get. Uh, just with its location, with all that surrounds it, with the people who live in it, with the geese that fly over, <laughs> that kind of stuff. It, it really kind of is just... It, it does have that tight-knit yeah. feel to it. 
But yeah, the neighborhood name was chosen by residents uh, when the neighborhood association was formed some 15 years ago. And so there was a whole list of different options and most neighborhoods usually go with a, a feature that's in the neighborhood. Yep. So if it's a park, they usually go with a park. Some don't have parks and they choose other features. So uh, Fireman's Park was an easy choice from what I understand. Yeah. And if you're wondering, there is a fire station just over there in is. the area too. So you guys have just about everything, including you know, responders right we have responders by you. right here. I, I noticed that when I first moved in, I said, well, if anything goes wrong, we have the fire department right here. So it's, it's a good feature uh -huh. yeah, on the west side here. A baseball diamond, lots of other things. Yeah, absolutely. Well, why don't you fill people in a little bit then on the neighborhood association, yeah. how it operates um, and that kind of thing. So that if they wanted to get involved, um, they might kind of know what to expect. Sure. We have over 30 neighborhoods right now across the city and so we're, we like them have a neighborhood association board so we have meetings we have gatherings that's open to everyone so um, we don't want to seem like it's too bureaucratic or too uh, sure. too organizational that way um, but it's just a group of neighbors getting together um, every other month right now um, here in the park in the good weather times and in the area um, when it's the winter time and talking about safety concerns uh, talking about upcoming events. We were able to host a few events here. We have our annual picnic in the park uh, every summer in July. So nice. uh, we have music and picnic and that's a nice uh, neighborhood event for all of us to gather together. Uh, we have you know a variety of different things we do throughout the year, safety initiatives, projects. Um, we publish newsletters like all neighborhoods do. Um, so we get information into the hands of all the neighbors and invite them to come and join us for events and get to know what's going on in the neighborhood as well. Um, so we have our neighborhood association, we have meetings, we have events. Uh, we're able to gather some new folks in all the time, which is great to see. Mm -hmm. um, we'd love to have anyone join us in the Neighborhood Association as well um, to get involved or simply come and to, to be with other neighbors yeah. once in a while. And uh, we have our website. Um, it's fpnagb.org, the Fireman's Park Neighborhood Association, Green Bay. Dot org. Um, Google us as well. Yep. We're on Facebook. Um, people can check us out there, get in contact, get on our email list. So we'll have all that in the description below the video. What kind of things are you guys working on, um, running towards as a neighborhood association? As you think of the future, what you want to see happen for Fireman's Park neighborhood, what kind of things are you going after? Well, we'd like to get more people involved for one thing. You okay. know, it's a, it's a like yourselves. So it's a, <laughs> I, I, like I said, it's a, it's a good team of people that are serving the neighborhood association, especially. But we always look for more people to come and join us as well. Um, so I, I can't do it alone. It's a group of people who take on different projects throughout yeah. the year, the events throughout the year, and we have some great committed individuals. We're always looking for more ideas. We're always looking for new opportunities um, for projects, for our grant applications, for different projects throughout the year. Um, especially some of the quieter times during the year. Yeah. So we're always looking for uh, new individuals to come and join us. Um, some of the misconceptions are that we're a, a homeowners association or a neighborhood that is a watch. Common one. And, yep, <laughs> um, we're not that. We're simply a community organization to get neighbors together and talking to one another and working together. So uh, we'd love to have everybody with us. Um, we'd love to get some new faces as well and new ideas. You know, we're growing. We just became a, fi a recognized 501c3 organization there we go. Um, a couple years ago. So we're able to do that. And that gives us some more opportunities to grow in the future. Um, we'd love to see some other events um, take off. We had our trunk retreat last year for the first time for the neighborhood kids. And that was really great. We had a, over a thousand people come to that. Wow. Yeah. So wow. um, we were really happy with that response. So we're always looking to find some of those new opportunities to, mm -hmm. to get our name out there and to get the neighborhood together. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. Are there any needs specifically right now that someone could meet for you guys? if they wanted to, if they had the talent to do that? Yeah, we're always looking for new talent, you know, in helping us get our message out, you know, with okay. our marketing. Uh, we're always looking for people that are really good with events to help us with coordinating some of those events as well and, and getting our name out there. So we're looking for anything, anything you want to bring and contribute to the neighborhood. We're, we're happy to find a place for you if you want to get involved. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Give Michael some love for sharing about his neighborhood. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell to get notifications too so you know when we release more videos like this with living in Green Bay. We'd love to have everybody in Green Bay. We'd love to have you in a neighborhood <laughs> and we'd love to have you in an association especially. So yeah. um, we're looking forward to having you with us. Thanks again for watching and we will see you guys on another video with living in Green Bay soon. Give us a thumbs up.